talk to you and swallow, and you you're going to give him some water. Which have policy says that he swallows water. So you have your, your cup and your straw. you got to have a straw, right? Because they can't do this to drink. you got to have a straw. And then you're going to um, tell them um, that Kate's going to be a little bit comfortable, uncomfortable, but it'll, we'll get it down very quickly. Now, do you have um, a history of a nose? Have you ever had a broken nose? Have no. you ever had any type of breathing problem? Well, yeah, I can't really breathe through my left nose. I've never been able to breathe through that side of my nose very often. Oh, okay. So, so your right nose you can breathe through. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then you're going to go down the left side. It's not going to be between three. Um, if they tell you, well, on, I think it was about equal. You can always do this time to breathe, and you'll hear it. Because um, breathe, and you'll hear if there's any obstruction, you can tell. So if there's a variance, the book tells you to go down the uh, nostril where they have the difficulty breathing, so that you're keeping the good nostril open for air exchange. Some hospitals are the opposite. They go down the, the side of the nose that they can breathe. That's where it's most open. It's opposite. So again, facility procedure. But for purposes of your learning, for your test, you're going to go down the side where they have the trouble okay. breathing. So you're going to, so check, you're going to uh, have the them. They'll be sitting uh, up, and they've got their water ready. And you're going to have them put their head back like this. Okay. And you're telling them, okay, you have your KY on. Got your. You wouldn't have your hands on top of the patient's head, but I'm trying to keep them from around. So you're going to have them put their head up like this, and you start the left side of the nostril. But that's where you're, where you're going to go up like this and push through. And then at some point, you can tell that your hair at the, fa the pharynx back here, they start swallowing. And then at that point, you can okay, tuck your chin down like this, more chin to chest like this. Swallow, swallow, swallow with the water. And they swallow, and as they swallow, you push, you push, and they swallow, and you push, and push, until you get it into your tape marking, which is what say, say it's here. So you have the tube all the way down to there. Now, if they are breathing and talking to you, you've probably got it in the stomach. If it starts to go down and curl up the mouth, you're going you to know pretty quickly. Sometimes it'll start to go down the nose, and it'll curl, it'll hit the back of the pharynx and the tongue, and it'll curl forward and the mouth. They gag and it comes out the mouth. So then you've got to pull it back out, not all the way, but out until you get it. You can see in the throat, you can see that you've got the tip clearing the pharynx, and you start back again. If you happen to go down the trachea and set it off, because it's, just, it's easy to do, they're going to start coughing right away and get immediately distressed. You're going to know. So then you pull it all, pull it completely out, let them recover, and then you've got to start down again. But let's say that, you know, you went through here and the patient swallowed and you got it down, you pushed it down, pushed it down, pushed it down, it's okay. The patient's doing fine, they're breathing okay. And you're down to your tape marks, so you know you've got the distance of the tubing in that you need to reach the stomach. So then you would have your tape handy here and you're going to pull it up and you're going to not let go of this because it can slide. And if you let go and they cough, it's going to slide out. Not all the way, but you're going to have to push it back.